Hi, so this is a short update on the BMS system for the e-bike. Uh, this is the old BMS PCB. So, as you can see, this is just four transistors and basically voltage comparators such that it acts like four senior diodes. Uh, and when the voltage gets above 4.2 volts, the current drawn from each cell increases. So this has a connector on the back and this is mounted on aluminium backing and this one is placed on this 5 amp hour hard case hobby king cells and you just connect the balancing lead to your PCB and mount it here then you just have two cables because I really hate cables and I don't want these balancing leads going anywhere I just want them to be a self-contained battery module with a plus and minus connector and nothing else because then you can configure your parallel serial count however you want you don't have to think about the BMS uh, but now I want to have more information from the BMS I want the charger to be able to stop charging when the, the batteries are full and I want the charger to be intelligent and not to charge if uh, one battery is hot or cold or something like that. I also want the e-bike to be able to know all of the cell voltages so I can determine if the internal resistance of one cell is getting high because the cell is failing. So I need some sort of communication and I do not want to use any wires. So I made this card. And this is basically a Bluetooth uh, chip on our F52 antenna and some transistors and resistors and stuff. So when you connect this one um, to here, what it does is it's continuously sending the voltage on, over Bluetooth um, and it's also acting as a balancing system. So when one battery gets above some threshold, it starts discharging it and when it gets below one other threshold, it stops with the discharging. And this can then talk to the, the dashboard and the charger. So I then build some plastic housing bits. So you basically just put a piece of plastic on the back and some plastic on the front. And you screw it all together and then you got yourself a module that you just put here with double sided tape like that. And you got yourself a nice BMS system thing uh, and a self contained battery module. Yeah, and then on the display on the dashboard, I can see all of the cells uh, voltage and all of the cell resistances. Uh, yeah, so I have 15 of these ones on the bike, so I need 15 of these ones, and yeah, that's what I've been doing today: soldering all of these PCBs. There's a lot of PCBs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's all for today.